At Farms.com Risk Management, we understand that commodity price risk management and sound financial advice are essential in today's volatile crop and swine sectors. Visit our website at www.riskmanagement.farms.com. Welcome to the Farms.com Weekly Crop Report for May 20th, 2011. This is Michelle Lameran, Commodity Research Analyst for Farms.com Risk Management. Grain markets soared midweek as weather troubles around the globe are causing concern for corn and wheat crops. On top of record hot and dry weather in the major wheat producing areas of the European Union, a lack of moisture across the U.S. hardwood wheat belt leaves the optimistic numbers recently published by the USDA in an increasingly unrealistic estimate. Hardwood wheat production could now come in closer to 700 million bushels versus the 762 million bushels reported in last week's USDA report. Excessive rainfall and flooding in the eastern and southern U.S. is also preventing farmers from planting corn and soybeans. Rains fell across the Midwest over last weekend, further saturating the wetter areas of the eastern corn belt. Flood, weathers, flood warnings are currently in effect for states along the Mississippi, including Iowa and Illinois, the largest U.S. corn growers. Plenty of debate is also going on as to how many corn acres will not get planted, how many soybean acres will get planted, and how many acres will go to prevent plant. It's tough to say at this point as weather is still the deciding factor and we have another two to three weeks before all of this plays out. It will be late June before the trade gets a good handle on what the actual numbers will be. In other news, the USDA released their weekly crop progress report on Monday, May 16th. According to the report, as of May 15th, U.S. corn is now 63% planted versus 40% last week, 87% last year, and the five-year average of 75%. U.S. soybeans were reported at 22% planted as of May 15th as well, compared to 7% planted last week, 37% last year, and the five-year average of 31%. U.S. winter wheat conditions were reported as 32% good to excellent, down another 1% from last week, and 34% below those of 2010. 44% of U.S. winter wheat was rated very poor to poor versus 42% last week and 8% last year. 24% of U.S. winter wheat was rated fair, down 1% from last week and versus 26% last year. According to the USDA, U.S. spring wheat is now 36% planted versus 22% last week, 78% last year, and the five-year average of 76%. This is below expectations of 40% complete. That's all for today. Have a great weekend.